Hey guys, so in this case I'm going to do things a bit backwards. So this is the EG4 charge verter. Really cool unit. So normally I was thinking, you know, I would just do a review on it and give you my thoughts, but since it came with a fairly common issue, I figured I'd go over that first and the easy fix. So this can charge at 100 amps. And the most common question Signature Solar is getting as it comes to some people in shipping is that they're only uh, able to charge at 50 amps. And so, you know, they're wondering what's wrong with the unit. So first I would say, look through the back grill. And this is based uh, off what I've seen and what I've seen in the forum also. Look through the back grill and you'll see an indi a green indicator light on both modules. If you only see one indicator light, then you likely have this issue. Um, and it's not a hard fix. So, uh, just to let you guys know, there is screws here that are holding the straps on these units, you know, holding the modules in place, and these screws here, here actually hold the circuitry in place. There is only, in reality, one, two, three, four, then one on this side, and four on that side. So you've got nine total screws that you have to take off to get this uh, lid off. It just saves you a little time. I would, I think you could probably do it without doing this, but I would thread this grommet off and, and gives you a little bit of slack. So then you're going to pop the cover off. And I had all this prepared beforehand, like you see on those cooking shows. I had all the ingredients in place, right? But the module is just slid a little bit backwards. There's a strap back here that bent in shipping and transit. So all you're going to do is hold that, pop that in place, and you're good to go. So uh, you'll thread the grommet back in place if you took that off. Put that back on, put your nine screws in, and you are good to go. So I just wanted to get that out there really quick. Uh, I've seen a lot written about it, like I said on the forum, but not a lot of videos on it. So uh, since mine came with it, I figured I'd do one. Uh, I've got uh, a review coming up on this, which I'm excited about. I've got a really dirty generator to use with it. I expect it to do fine. So that's coming up soon and some other cool stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.